hey guys, what's up? So remember when I, I did that, that pool for Celeste and then ended up having a lot of lapis left over? Well, here I am today with that same lapis to see if I can sink it in um, my boy Cyan. Because, dude, let's talk about it. Final Fantasy VI is a super weird, fantastic game. It's crazy um, how they brought so many new elements into that game as far as uh, just like different kinds of strategy. I loved the like, um, you know, as you're going down uh, to fight Kefka, uh, I say Narshi, I don't care if you say Narshi, it's gross, that's a gross word. Um, yeah, you have to like place your different parties, you have to like first divide your your uh, your crew into three different parties uh, with the help of a bunch of moogles, which was super cool of them. Uh, and then just like make sure that you like are going down this path like um, in like a super strategic way. So like, that was kind of cool. They did a lot of that. They did a lot of like divide your party into certain groups, which um, I always thought was really cool. And um, certain people to me like I wanted them to be together. So like I always wanted Locke and Celeste to be in the same party. Um, that was special to me. Um, I like putting the Figaro brothers together, but then like I also kind of felt like. They're both um, big leaders, so um, what am I doing? I should be talking about this while I'm summoning. Unless like something happens, like last week, I start talking and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, that's done. So uh, anyhow, um, the game just, yeah, um, just really kind of brought in like all of these just like, really interesting, this better not be the treasure summon. Oh shoot, it's the treasure summon. Well, that's okay, because I'm not doing that. Let's get off real quick uh, before we get in trouble. All right, this is what, well, do we do laps or do we do tickets? I haven't done tickets in a super long time. But we do some tickets and save that lapis and see uh, if we got to use it. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, you. I'll start with you. Um, so beyond just that, like beyond just like these fun, like little interesting um, scenarios that kind of that it brought, it brought with cyan hey Zan, what's up um it brought this like um amazing moment in gaming where what happened to cyan and what happened to uh to his family and to uh doma castle and all the people there um uh was like horrendous and basically uh set the stage hey i love it when when crystal wants to change like that you want to change again my friend i'm cool with that Hmm. Or just be a robot because um, apparently uh, I can't get away from robots. If only they could. Um, if only they could find my luggage. Oh no, they can't. You actually need a real human to do that, and five minutes of a real human's time. That is all you need. It's very annoying. Anyway, um, enough about that. So uh, yeah, that moment in the game was super crucial. I feel like for the Final Fantasy franchise because like all of a sudden. They created uh, a, a villain like no other uh, in Kefka. And he is, I think, like, I would say, arguably, like, the most loved, hated um, villain in the, in the Final Fantasy franchise. And just, I mean, he's just notorious. Like, he's got so much going on with him. Oh, speaking of, no, not, I can't even talk. Speaking of notorious villains, I hate you, Eclipsa. You're the worst. Stupid Eclipse out. Anyway. Um, yeah, but not no, more notorious than Kafka because, like, um, her her pain was against uh, just one one single lovely, lovely man, uh, Heliarch. Uh, so, anyway. Well, um, what I was saying is that, yeah, you get, um, you get in the incident with Cyan and his, his the tragedy that, like, hit his life, um, you get this amazing villain and um i think that like that a lot of that is the draw to final fantasy 6 for a lot of people and just um because kepka is very mesmerizing as, as a villain and i personally and i know i've said this before and a lot of people like may not agree but i don't feel like i've had a more compelling a compelling villain in in all these games until uh until arden in 15 and i know i mean like i mean what are you gonna say like golbez like have you ever seen Star Wars? Uh, that's been done. Check. But, um, you know, uh, Kefka, Arden, they, um, they really torment 
the people in the game. And it's a much different than, you know, like you think of like Vane, for instance, like uh, Seymour, um, well, you know, it's not Seymour Endgame, but sorry, spoiler alert. Anyhow, um, there's a lot like Final Fantasy loves the like, um, uh, I have changed my form. I have changed my form again. Now I am this, now I am that. Like I'm a monster, like whatever I am. Um, and I wouldn't say that like, well, um, you know, that the enemies or the, sorry, the, the big main boss at the end, um, is always, always like, you know, a compelling, uh, person to fight. It's more that you're fighting for the world. Like that, that is what the fight is. Like, it's not so much that it's against this bad boss. It's that you got it. Like the taking out the bad boss is a means to an end, uh, which is saving the world. Um, but with Kafka, with Arden, man, it was personal. Um, and, uh, you know, and actually with Seymour, who, you know, again, smaller art. Yeah, he doesn't become your party member. Um, sorry, sorry, um, a racist, don't listen or something. Uh, anyway, um, oh, my, my, you hurt my heart. All right, um, so it's different. Like, I felt like uh, with taking out Kafka, with going out to Arden, like, it wasn't just about saving the world. It was like, there was personal stuff, you know, like hemorrhaging on this fight. And it was like, oh, okay, no, no, like, you have got to take these guys out. Like, these guys, they got to go. Um, and Arden, actually, like, I have, like, a very deep affection for um, as well. Um, but, man, the way that he torments, like, especially Prompto, um, that's not cool. You don't mess with Prompto. So, uh, I just felt like, these two villains were, um, like, hmm, pretty pivotal, um, as far as, like, like within this series, and Kefka kind of changed the way that I viewed the Final Fantasy, uh, franchise, like, the games, and just the amount, like, or just, like, the, uh, the intensity of the cruelty that you might expect, not that it happened in every game, but that it was capable of happening in every game, so it kind of changed the landscape for me. Um, because, you know, it's, you know, having, you know, having a betrayal, having a traitor, um, or, or like realizing like, oh, well, this person's at fault, but it's really cause they have been like, their brain has been hijacked by like some like demon. It's like, okay, well that's kind of understandable, but like, no, this is, this is different. These two, like Kefka well, and Arden, cause I love to talk about them together. Um, they're on an agenda together, uh, or not together, no, separately. They had it there. So they're separate agendas, uh, but but they acted very similarly. Uh, yeah, just in their just evilness uh, and and oh hey Renora, uh, and just um, just ruthlessness really, um, and everything that they did uh, to achieve their goal, uh, and you know both had different, very very different motivations of course, but they all just wanted to see the world burn. Um, and that was the goal and and yeah and actually they they pretty much achieved it so that's also something that's unique to them so anyhow cyan uh and his you know happiness or whatever you want to call it like all that he had to um uh give up or sacrifice or you know oh there's my haley arc uh, uh, mm. anyhow um what he had to suffer in order to kind of like, you know, he was kind of the, um, what do you call it? Like the mm, sacrificial lamb, I guess, or I mean, his family was, but so was he, um, as far as like allowing, uh, allowing that monster that, and that amazing, amazing, um, uh, character in Kafka and villain in Kafka to, to emerge and really establish himself as the villain that he is. So, um, Sayan, hey, I got it. Um, and I appreciate your sacrifice. Um, I really wish to though, hey, that's weird. That was cool. Um, especially with the fan festa units, uh, popping up in here. Um, I really wish like they could incorporate his, um, sword technique. Uh, I really like that, and that game as well. Final Fantasy VI did a lot of those interesting, you know, like you first Saban, you had to um, 
actually do the move in order to pummel or suplex. You had to press the, the correct button uh, sequence. So, and the sword technique was fun too. Like you, you had to wait, like you had to wait through it and until you got the one that you wanted. Uh, so that, yeah, that would be cool to incorporate that in some way, but it's kind of hard. Um, and also what happened in Doma was crucial for, um, oh, do I want to use this? Sure, why not? Um, what happened in Doma was very crucial for um, Celeste and, uh, and General Leo's kind of um, self-realization, um, as you know, what they're doing and, and you know, cloud. Ugh, why you? I don't know, all right. I don't want anything from you. I didn't call you hair, but whatever, you're hair, that's fine. All right, let's do the old, just simple, um, simple summoning and, and use up my lapis, right? All right. So, um, anyhow, I, uh, I just really like seeing, I do, I do, and I talked about this with Celeste, like, uh, that is a favorite trope of mine, why I'm such a fan of Adora, um, but I do, I do like it when people can pause and look around them and um, reflect on what they see around them and that, you know, hey, maybe, oh, there's my man Locke, my main man. Um, maybe things like either they aren't as you thought they were, they're not um, as, as black and white as you, as you first uh, thought them to be. And that, yeah, people are capable of change. People are capable of, um, you know, being moved by things that they see and by, um, you know, uh, seeing something like as horrific as what Kepka did and then trying to realize, like, or trying to ascertain, like, where your allegiance lies. Like, yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. Hey, uh, a Charlotte's great. I'll take one of those. But, yeah, I do feel bad for, for us I am, though. I wish he didn't have to go through that. But I will say, um, as much as I don't love tragedy and, like, uh, gratuitous violence or gratuitous death uh, in my entertainment, uh, when it stands for something and means something, then uh, you understand, like, okay, this is why it needed to happen. So, yeah, again, sorry, Sion, that you had to be uh, the, uh, victim and all this in your family as well, but, and your people, but, um, I thank you for your sacrifice. Because you did give us a pretty good villain. Wow. Fanfesta all over the place. All right. How many pools do we have left? Ooh. Mm. Oh, a free one. Sweet. I'll take it. I like when I see free. Free is fun. And we might not get this dude, but he's around for a while. I just, I gotta throw um, everything I have at the banners um, for the characters and the games that like mean the most to me. Cause I feel like by doing so, um, somewhere out there, so I know this is not how it works, but um, they're tallying up, you know, which speeders are getting the most Vizior. Not that they talk like that. I don't know why anybody would talk like that. And then it's not Vizior, it's Lapis. So erase what I just said. But um, I do feel like I gotta, I gotta throw everything I have at the ones that matter so that maybe somebody out there is like, okay, well maybe this Final Fantasy VI has something to it. Maybe we should care, care about this a little bit more. Um, and then yeah, if you wanna throw those guys in more visions, I'd be pretty happy with that. So um, just you know, on the record, off the record, whatever record um, you want me to play, I'll, I'll, I'll play, play with that. Ugh. <laughs> that guy and then maybe I can do another one out mm -hmm. ah yes this is great oh I'm so happy to get you tomorrow yeah this makes me super happy if anything just like getting getting tomorrow out of uh, this summoning makes me really happy uh, Another thing Final Fantasy VI brought in was uh, the the ability to have like um, to get a character 
what do you call it, optional, like optional characters. Like you don't have to go get Amaro. You don't have to do that. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, but if you do, it's pretty cool. And if you're a completionist like me, then it feels really great to um, kind of like find all these little moments in the game and, and get the most out of them. So, all right, last pull from Man Cyan. Uh, and if anything, I feel like I've done my job. I've shown uh, Final Fantasy VI a lot of love. Showed me some love back. I got my main girl, Celeste. Uh, she's um, everything, everything that I've ever, ever wanted in a Final Fantasy character. So um, I'm happy either way. And then I got my Amaro. Oh, wow. I'm not sure I have Fancy Amaro. Do I have you? I mean, I guess I do, because it doesn't show up as new. I didn't know I had Fancy Maria. Anyway, uh, speaking of Celeste, right? Not that this is the same Maria. I'm just saying, you know, mm -hmm, Maria. Anyway, whatever. Well, anyway, we tried, and that's cool. Um, I still, I, I feel the best for, um, for promoting and uh, enjoying my favorite game. I guess I could, uh, I could do some standard summons and see how that goes. I do have, oh god, I have so many of these gross, dirty temples ones. I'm not doing those with you. Um, it's like, make me feel so disgusting. Uh, let's do some of these, though. Maybe we'll get some luck. Let's do, like, ten at once. Ready, set, go. Boom. Show me some love. Or don't. I don't really care. I have enough units as it is, and I'm gonna be infusing hell for life, so. Oh, hey, an NV. That's cool. What you gonna be? Oh. Well, that's weird. Um, you won't go without me? Well, I won't go without you. So let's not abandon this world. Let's get together. Um, let's hang out and let's avenge your family and um, all your people. Because, um, yeah, you and I, um, we're on the same mission, Sam. This was cool. This was great. Ah, wow. All right. I like how things work out sometimes, right? Don't you? All right. Um, I don't know. What should I do? Should I go play some Final Fantasy VI? I'm actually currently on the Velt, uh, collecting all of Gao's um, uh, rages, um, which uh, which is a, a thing. That's a long thing. Um, at least I can also like work on like maxing out, um, you know, all, everyone's spells and everything while, while I'm at it. But I'm just saying it's a thing. Um, I have one of those uh, as a super nas. Um, lights yeah um i also have all the originals like don't you worry about that but like super nintendo light is a very easy way to still play all my favorite games i'm not advertising it nintendo didn't put me up to this i'm just saying um that that's one way to to do it um so let's just stop now before this turns into an advertisement um i would really hate that and let's just end and say man Final fantasy 6 i have so much affection for you you um, really cemented the genre for me. You showed me that RPGs can be creative, they can be funny and hilarious. You really like established exactly what I wanted in a game. And I will say, when I played Persona 5 Royal, I felt like it incorporated so many of those exact elements. So um, yeah, for me, this defined exactly what I'm looking for in a game. And um, yeah. I will just like um forever have affection for it so cheers to you final fantasy 6 thanks for bringing what you are thanks for um giving me what she gave me and cyan man i'm gonna do you proud i'll do my best right i'm gonna try let's get out there and uh let's go cl cl cleanse the water i don't know about that that sounds weird um let's just like yeah let's just do some good things together how about that yeah cheers all right um thanks guys for hanging out and um yeah again um th that last year was supposed to stay on but this one this one's to you so yeah um cheers <laughs>